Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and today I wanted to talk to you about an app that I use just about every single day and it's called Bear. Now I started using Bear almost a year ago I think now and I use it to write just about everything. Almost everything that I write I use Bear. Now that doesn't matter whether it's an email, a blog post, a Slack message, a note in Basecamp or whatever it is, I start out writing it in Bear. I'm gonna give you an idea of what Bear is. So Bear, put simply, is a text editor. It's an app, and I think at the current time it's Mac only, so sorry Windows users, but you gotta have a Mac to use it. It does work with iOS devices, so you can use it on your iPad, you can also use it on your iPhone. And beyond that, it's Markdown based. So if you're not already familiar with Markdown, Markdown is just a super easy to use, uh, almost a coding language, but not quite. It's a writing language that enables you to really easily add italics and bolds and format your text without your hands ever leaving the keyboard. See, part of the problem with writing in something like a Word document or what's called a rich text editor is that you gotta have your hands on the mouse or the trackpad. So either A, you have to write the whole thing and then come back later and click and italicize and bold and you know add block quotes and everything else or uh, you have to do it while you're writing which again completely breaks your concentration especially if you're writing something longer you're in a session markdown kind of solves both problems while you're writing you can really easily just add you know uh, specific characters as you're writing and it automatically italicizes or bolds or adds in headings or bullet points and it's all really logical and it's got a natural feel so what i wanted to do now is take a little bit of time and go through and just show you some of the things that i do in bear how i use it some of the features i leverage the most so that hopefully if you're not already using bear you can try it out and uh, hopefully it starts saving you some serious time as you are refining your writing workflow. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what we're looking at right now is uh, an article I wrote a while back. Now, like I said previously, I don't just write, uh, you know, like blog posts and articles in Bear. I write literally everything. And there's a number of different reasons for this, but what I wanted to show you is just some of the really basic features built in here that have led me to t continue to turn back to Bear for just about everything. So the first thing is the organization of it. I can add these tags to everything that I'm writing. So I will tag out, you know, emails, uh, meeting bullet points, specific projects that I'm working on, uh, agreements. I also create a number of templates within Bear, which are really, it makes it so easy. So like if I'm doing an email template, I can just jump in Bear duplicate it and go through. One of the other templates that I've created is actually for the content that I create. So every single time I'm gonna do a new video on YouTube or a new podcast or something, I just make a duplicate of this file, this document in Bear, and I can go and copy and paste the specific pieces where they need to go, be it uh, you know, YouTube for the video, or be it uh, my blog or my website for the podcast, or you know, the email itself. Uh, that gets sent out to subscribers, that sort of thing. Beyond that, Bear makes it really easy as well to go through and create your own checklist. So I'll go through, and that's one of the things I've got built into my template, is a nice list of things that I wanna make sure that I get done as I am working on them. So again, all I do is I just jump in here, I right click, and I duplicate this. And then with that duplicated copy, what I do is I remove this templates tag uh, and I start working with it. So over here then what I'll do is whatever, there's nothing that I'm currently working on at the moment. However, if there is, if there's a, a, a particular document that I'm working on now and it, you know, I'm in the process of finishing, they enable you to pin. So you can pin something to the top. So it's always at the top. You can always see it and you can always access it immediately when you're in bear. So that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're viewing all your notes or if you are viewing a specific tag or something like that. But again, it's all really easy to work with. So here's a quick example. Let's take a look at this document here just to take a look at how the formatting works within Markdown. So you'll be able to see here that uh, here's how we italicize something. So if I go like this,
So as you can see, it just makes it super easy. Headings are just a couple of hashes. So this is an H1. Uh, this would be, you know, an H2. This would be H3. You get the idea. And it's it's what it's doing as you're writing this in Markdown is it's generating HTML that you can use later. So I'll show you that here in a moment. But as you can see here, I've gone through and I've typed out this whole message. And I don't have to worry about going through after I'm done and formatting everything because it already is all formatted. So now I've gone through this whole process. And let's say, so this is a WordPress post, right? So this is something that I'm going to post in WordPress. And if you're at all familiar with WordPress, you know that you are afforded to you a nice little text. Uh, tab over here, which accepts HTML. So what I do when I'm ready to write a blog post, when I'm ready to publish a blog post that I've finished writing in Bear, is I will go in here, I will copy everything as, you see here I've got this little option here, copy as, and I do HTML. Once I've got all that HTML, I pop it in here, I remove the tag because it's going to pop in the hashtags for all the individual uh, items I created. Also, It'll pop in the title, so you want to remove that. But then what happens is you look in this editor and you've got a perfectly edited, a perfectly formatted uh, article ready to publish. Now the images don't show up. You do have to add the images separately just because the images are just being locally hosted. So they will have to be imported into your blog post. But the great thing is that you have all of this perfectly formatted and you had to do very little. Now, some of you might be wondering right now, well, okay, I can just copy and paste from Microsoft Word. I can't tell you the amount of articles that I've worked with or blog posts I've troubleshooted for people. Uh, and the problem, and they say, well, when I publish the post, it looks all funny on the front end. And the reason is because if you're copying from something like Microsoft Word, if you're copying from some sort of rich text editor, a lot of times they're gonna paste in their own formatting, their own code, their own styles, and there's a good chance that your website isn't gonna know how to interpret that. And so on the front end, it's gonna be really ugly or it's gonna smash paragraphs together or something like that. If you do just a markdown and then you copy that as HTML, you're getting the very stripped down bare bones HTML without any of the other junk kind of thrown in there. So that makes it super fast and easy for you to be able to format blog posts. But let's take a look, how does this apply to something like writing out emails? Because you'll say, well, HTML isn't really going to help me if I'm going to be, you know, writing out an email. So here's another example. Let's go back to this template I created. So I've got this YouTube template. So what I do is I copy all of these links um, and I paste these all into the YouTube description uh, when I'm finished with a video. So I, again, I create one of these for every video that I create. So all I have to do is just copy and paste this. Now YouTube doesn't enable me to actually go through and uh, you can't do italics and bolds or anything, any formatting in a YouTube description. So I just copy this as plain text. I just hit copy. For my podcast, that actually is a post in WordPress, which we just covered. For an email, uh, if I were to go into my email client, which I won't do here in this video, um, what I do is I copy all of this as either A, I can copy this as rich text and then paste it into my particular editor when I'm writing out that email, or if they give me the HTML option, I will paste it in HTML as well. And they do have this feature, which I always fail to do, but you can actually uncheck this where it says keep tags. So if you wanna make sure that you're not pasting in the tags for the, your particular um, destination where you're gonna be pasting in your information or pasting in your, your content, that's a great thing to do. So again, it's invaluable because number one, it gives you the ability to be able to write efficiently, write very quickly. And once you've written it, it gives you a ton of different ways that you can copy and paste this into various places. And what you'll find, and what I've found, is that it works seamlessly with just about everything. Because again, most things are just going to either use rich text or they're going to use HTML. Here's the other really nice thing about using something um, like Markdown or using Bear is that if you want to use it to be able to export your documents, you can do that as well. So you can actually export them as markdown files, PDF, 
HTML files if you want to host them on the web. You can even save them as Word documents. So if, if you're working in Bear and it's something you want to be able to send to someone else, that's really helpful as well. They give you a ton of nice information too. I'm always trying to gauge my word count to see if it's if it's good. It gives you reading time, number of paragraphs, number of characters. Super useful. So all I have to do, let's say I wanted to send this to someone to review or to keep on hand, I just drop this to my desktop and you'll see it creates a perfectly formatted PDF right here for me and that was instant. If you're a person who likes to create lead magnets too and that's something you, you know, you, you're cranking out the PDFs, in my opinion, the themes that you can choose right here within Bear are nicer than what most documents are. So you can go into preferences, you can pick a nice theme and obviously you don't really wanna do a black background when you're exporting. Uh, but these themes are beautiful and then you can use them to create your document. You would then be able to just jump in here. Uh, you could literally just export your PDF, use your PDF program to pop in a page at the beginning that could be your cover and there you go. So that's just kind of a side note, a nice little hack, something you could, you could take into account as you're using this. But again, for me, it's become an invaluable writing workflow. So I just wanted to show you here today some of the tips and techniques that have made it super useful for me. So give it a try. If you're not already using Bear, I highly recommend you download it. I'm pretty sure the, they've got a free version. They do have a premium version, which I personally pay for, uh, and start you know, experimenting with it. I used to use Evernote for just about everything. I throw everything. I still do use Evernote. It's kind of like my junk drawer. But what I found is like copy and pasting from Evernote led to some pretty not so pretty results, so specifically when pasting into something like WordPress. So again, hopefully you found this useful. Let me know, you know, let me know in the comments what you're currently using for your writing workflow. If you use Bear, what has your experience been with it? And I would love to hear from you. So if you found this useful, as always, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.